Shamshon judged Yisrael in the days of the Polish team, twenty years. Shofetim, Judges, chapter 16. And Shamshon went to Gaza and saw there a harlot and went into her. And it was told to the Gaza team, saying, Shamshon is come hither. And they compassed him in, and laid wait for him all night in the gate of the city, and were quiet all the night, saying, Let be till morning light, then we will kill him. And Shamshon lay till midnight, and arose at midnight, and laid hold of the doors of the gate of the city, and the two posts, and plucked them up, bar and all, and put them upon his shoulders, and carried them up to the top of the mountain that is before Hebron. And it was afterward that he loved a woman in the valley of Shorek, whose name was Dalilah. And the lords of the Polish team came up to her and said to her, Entice him, and see wherein his great strength lieth, and by what means we may prevail against him, that we may bind him to afflict him, and we will give thee, every one of us, a thousand and a hundred pieces of silver. And Dalilah said to Shamshon, Tell me, I pray thee, wherein thy great strength lieth, and wherewith thou mightest be bound to afflict thee. And Shamshon said to her, If they bind me with seven fresh cords that were never dried, then shall I become weak and be as another man. Then the lords of the Polish team brought up to her seven fresh cords which had not been dried, and she bound him with them. Now she had liars in wait abiding in the inner chamber, and she said to him, The police team are upon thee, Shamshon, and he broke the cords, as a string of flax tow is broken in its smelling of fire. So his strength was not known, and Dalilah said to Shamshon, Behold, Thou hast mocked me, and told me lies. Now tell me, I pray thee, wherewith thou mightest be bound. And he said to her, If they only bind me with new ropes, wherewith no work hath been done, then shall I become weak, and be as another man. So Dalilah took new ropes, and bound him therewith, and said to him, The Polish team are upon thee, Shamshon. And the liars in wait were abiding in the inner chamber, and he broke them off his arms like a thread. And Dalilah said to Shamshon, Hitherto thou hast mocked me, and told me lies. Tell me wherewith thou mightest be bound. And he said to her, If thou weavest the seven locks of my head with the web. And she fastened it with the pin, and said to him, The Polish team are upon thee, Shamshon. And he awaked out of his sleep, and plucked away the pin of the beam and the web. And she said to him, How canst thou say, I love thee? When thy heart is not with me, thou hast mocked me these three times, and hast not told me wherein thy great strength lieth. And it was, when she pressed him daily with her words, and urged him, that his soul was vexed to death. And he told her all his heart, and said to her, There hath not come a razor upon my head, for I have been a Nazir of God from my mother's womb. If I be shaven, then my strength will go from me, and I shall become weak and be like any other man.
And when Dalila saw that he had told her all his heart, she sent and called for the lords of the Polish team, saying, Come up this once, for he hath told me all his heart. Then the lords of the Polish team came up to her and brought the money in their hand. And she made him sleep upon her knees, and she called for a man, and shaved off the seven locks of his head. And she began to afflict him, and his strength went from him. And she said, The Polish team are upon thee, Shamshorn. And he awoke out of his sleep, and said, I will go out as at other times, and shake myself free. But he knew not that Yahweh was departed from him. And the Polish team laid hold on him, and they put out his eyes, and they brought him down to Gaza, and bound him with fetters of copper, and he did grind in the prison house. Howbeit the hair of his head began to grow again after he was shaven, and the lords of the Polish team gathered them together to offer a great sacrifice to Dargon, their god, and to rejoice. For they said, Our god hath delivered Shamshorn, our enemy, into our hand. And when the people saw him, they praised their god, for they said, Our god hath delivered into our hand our enemy, and the destroyer of our country, who hath slain many of us. And it was, when their hearts were merry, that they said, Call for Shamshorn, that he may make us sport. And they called for Shamshorn out of the prison house, and he made sport before them. And they set him between the pillars. And Shamshorn said to the lad that held him by the hand, Cause me rest, that I may feel the pillars whereupon the house resteth, that I may lean upon them. Now the house was full of men and women, and all the lords of the Polish team were there, and there were upon the roof about three thousand men and women that beheld while Shamshorn made sport. And Shamshorn called to Yahweh and said, O Lord Yahweh, remember me, I pray thee, and strengthen me, I pray thee, only this once, O God, that I may be at once avenged of the Polish team for my two eyes. And Shamshorn took hold of the two middle pillars upon which the house rested, and leaned upon them, the one with his right hand, and the other with his left. And Shamshorn said, Let me die with the Polish team. And he bowed himself with all his might, and the house fell upon the lords, and upon all the people that were therein. So the dead that he slew at his death were more than they that he slew in his life. Then his brothers and all the house of his father came down, and took him, and brought him up, and buried him between Tara and Heshetahol, in the burying place of Manoah, his father, and he judged Yisrael twenty years. And there was a man of the hill country of Ephraim, whose name was Mikhayahu. 